overall goal of this procedure is to discover novel compounds that modulate the activity of inward rectifier potassium channels. This is accomplished by first plating tetracycline-inducible HEK293 cells expressing a KIR channel of interest into a 384-well plate. The second step is to load the cells with a fluorescent thallium reporter dye named Fluozin-2. Next, the unincorporated dye is washed from the cells and replaced with assay buffer containing a vehicle control or test compounds. The final step is the addition of a stimulus buffer to the wells to initiate thallium flux. Ultimately, a fluorescence plate reader is used to identify the compounds that change the movement of thallium ions through the KIR channel pore. The main advantage of this method over existing techniques, such as manual patch clamp electrophysiology, is that it enables the investigator to perform hundreds of experiments simultaneously and thousands of experiments daily. This method allows the investigator to screen libraries of thousands of small molecules to discover modulators of inward rectifying potassium channels. A day before the thallium flux experiment, dissociate the cells and quantitate the density of the cell suspension as described in the accompanying manuscript. Next, use the BH medium containing 10% dialyzed FBS. Plate 20,000 monoclonal cells stably transfected with a KIR channel gene of interest in each well of a BD pure coat amine coated 384 well plate using a thermo multi drop combi or a multi channel pipetter. The next day.